Hello and welcome to Real Estate Hot Topics, this two of Series 9, 2010. Our program title today is Real Estate Pilates, and we're going to be chatting with the agents about what is their real estate goals, professional development, and even their stretch goals for the future. And joining me again is my co-host for 2010, welcome to the program, Mr. Matt Steinwade. Matt, welcome aboard. Hey Lee, how you doing? I even remember that you had goal setting software. <laughs> now that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I do did. You, do you still have that? No. As we do Real Estate Hop Topics, we get those all-time interviews that people love. For whatever reason, why it connects and how they move us through our journey. Peter Clements, welcome back to Real Estate Hot Topics. Thanks, Lee. Peter, it's been a while since you were on the program and everyone loved your story. Well, it's been an interesting year in, uh, in Perth real estate and um, I have really had to reassess what I'm doing, change a few things, start getting more of a plan together, had to really relearn and break a lot of moulds and really a lot of the, the work I've been doing at the moment is around resetting goals, putting business plans together, getting some great KPIs. Peter, take us through this one-page KPI sheet that is keeping you focused. Okay, well, it's, it's actually one. I'm going to pull you back again in the future, but thank you for joining us on Real Estate Hot Topics, Real Estate Pilates. Thank you, Lee. During 2009, we had many requests for different styles of interviews. And one of the interviews I want to bring you now is truly special as it starts from the ground up. I believe in the real estate industry, we all have to earn our stripes. Dan, welcome to Real Estate Hot Topics. Thanks, Lee. Great to be here. Yeah, exactly. You've got to be excited about what you're selling. As a salesperson, that's what, that's what sales is all about, isn't it? You know, transitioning from the emotion of the product to the person you're selling it to. Um, so I went from the this lead generation cadet role straight into sales, which uh, it was a little bit out of my depth. I mean, straight, just finished my HSC, didn't have a real grasp on the industry and how everything worked. Uh, so it was a bit of a, it was a good and a bad experience. I had to learn very quickly. So I probably learned some things quicker than, you know, than you would over a year or whatever to being told you have to be here in five minutes. I need you to pick this up. This contract needs to be done. I need you to go to Sydney tonight. You might not get back till 10 or I need a commitment letter and a newspaper dropped off uh, on a doorstep at 6am in the, the eastern suburbs or something like that. So yeah, bit of a bit of a learning curve, mate. Uh. Please welcome to the Real Estate Hot Topic studio, Mr. James Short. James, welcome aboard. Thank you, Lee. Good to be here. Implement this into your life, into your business. You'll transform your business. And this is what I call playing above the line. I don't want to hear the story. I don't want to hear the blame. I don't want to hear the justification. I don't want to hear the denial. When you take full responsibility and accountability and ownership over your, your mistakes, your learnings, and your, your life in general, that's when you create abundance in your life. And that concludes another edition of Real Estate Hot Topics. I hope you enjoyed the program.